Okay, so I finally figured out how to wire my soundbar in my Yamaha Drive 2 um, gas powered golf cart. Um, there's lots of documentation online and videos about doing this for electric carts, but um, I was having trouble finding out how to do this for a gas cart. So, what I did was here's my soundbar. I bought a Memphis Audio. Um, it was really heavy, it got great reviews. Uh, I just took a piece of angle iron and notched it out on both sides and then I mounted the speaker to it. So this speaker has three wires coming out of the back of it. It's got a black, a red, and a blue. And the blue is for the ignition cutoff. Um, I think on some audio devices, the blue is actually for, um, I don't know, other peripherals or something. But for Memphis, it's for the ignition cutoff. And I didn't know where to put that. So what I did, um, this is how I figured it all out. Um, what I did on the back here is I've got wires coming down. I just, uh, one, of, one of these big cables is for, um, I don't know, extra peripherals. It's got like 3.5 millimeter jack. I just, I didn't need it. So I just stuck it down this drain pipe here as well as the, the primary power wires. I just stuck it down this drain pipe and then it goes through the bottom and then I pulled it out um, um, underneath the seat. So where this is, is I've got those wires. I've got red um, going to the red terminal. I've got my black from the speaker going to the black, the negative terminal. terminal. And then this blue wire, this, is, this goes to ignition somewhere. So I was checking all these fuses with my multimeter and these suckers are always hot. So that didn't serve a purpose. And I found some other random, um, you know, uh, plugs that were capped off. Th these are always hot. I don't know what the heck this is for, probably diagnostics or something. So anyway, what I did was I took the blue wire, I fed it down to the bottom and I chased it um, down to another set of wires. So I pulled it through here. You know, ideally I probably could have stuck it in the sheathing, but oh well, it serves its purpose. Um, routed it all the way down there, routed it down there. And then I came up to where my ignition is. Well, I didn't really want to tap straight into the ignition. So what I did was I found, uh, let me see, these, so these Yamahas have these um, USB phone chargers that only come on during um, when the key is, set to the middle or the on position, which is perfect, exactly what I needed. So what I did was I found the relay that goes to, um, to, the, uh, to the USB chargers, which is there. So what I'm gonna do is, this is the source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of vampire tap into the red yellow wire that feeds the USB chargers. Um, I don't have the proper connector. I don't really want to drive to Home Depot right now, so I'm just going to kind of vampire tap um, into this thing, and I think it will work. Let's see. So give me one sec. All right, so <clears throat> I just kind of got that kind of tapped in there for now. I'll, I'll tape that up, and I'll make that nice and pretty there, but um, let's check it out. Middle position. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. There it goes. And it's wanting a Bluetooth connection right now, but let me just see if it shuts off. Which. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Turn it back on. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. All right, hopefully this will uh, help somebody because I had a hard time figuring it out. This is my very first golf cart, so I'm no expert at this, but it looks like it's working.